after this clown thing ends soon. The rain finally ended. Michelle, we had a nice day yesterday. How's Tuesday looking? Well, Tuesday going to be mostly dry, Patrick. We do have some mist, some drizzle possible here this morning, but then drier in the afternoon. Nothing that we're finding right now on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Locally over the area, you can see some showers that moved across southwestern Connecticut. Long Island's were fizzled out as they tried to make their way towards New York City. Now, we may get some of that moisture coming in still over the ocean, so it wouldn't be surprised if you just found a little bit of drizzle or mist as as you began your day today. Threat tracker, it's in the green. No severe weather through the middle of the week and even the end of the work week looking pretty quiet weather wise. Our temperatures uh, up into the upper 50s this morning. This is a mild start for an October morning. Normal low would be in the 40s, more like what we're going to see overnight tonight. But with the low clouds around the warm day yesterday, the temperature is starting off on the milder side this morning. Here's how it looks in Providence right now. North northeast winds nine miles an hour going to keep us on on the cooler side for today. We'll talk more about today's future cast, but let's go back to Matthew category four hurricane just along that uh, western peninsula of Haiti now about 35 miles south of the peninsula of Haiti. Now looking at the future cast, those hurricane force conditions have started in parts of Haiti. Obviously a lot of rain. Some spots could get as much as 40 inches of rain along the southern coast of Haiti in the Dominican Republic. From there, tropical storm conditions and then eventually hurricane conditions expected in eastern Cuba today. They'll start to see those tropical storm force conditions over the Bahamas. And we're expecting to see some hurricane or tropical storm watches that go up along parts of the Florida coastline later this morning. Here's the latest track from the National Hurricane Center, bringing it very close to the Florida South Carolina coastline and then maybe making a landfall somewhere along the South or North Carolina coast near Cape Hatteras is a category two hurricane. This is over the weekend, so this is 2 a.m. on Sunday. Where it heads from there ultimately will determine whether we see minimal impacts from this or if we get more of a significant impact. What looks certain from Matthew is that we'll see some high surf, some large swells, and probably some rip currents from this. What's more uncertain if we get any rain or wind, and that'll be determined by the final track of this storm. And I know you'd love to have all the answers right now, but we just don't. There's a lot of variables in play uh, that will determine whether this hugs the coastline up into New England or if it's able to track farther out to sea. What we do know over the next few days, high pressure is going to keep us on the drier side of things. That position of the high today bringing in that cooler ocean and damp ocean air, but it'll dry things out eventually from top down. So while it's cloudy and potentially a bit misty here through the morning hours. We will see more breaks in the clouds for the afternoon and evening then overnight tonight mostly clear and we wake up to partly to mostly clear skies tomorrow morning. Lots of sunshine in the afternoon on Wednesday. Commuting into work this morning cloudy, a little bit of mist. You'll want a light jacket or a sweater. Temperatures hovering in the upper 50s. For the afternoon, we'll make it only to the middle 60s, almost 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. Clouds and some sunshine. It'll also be a bit breezy with those north northeast winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So we've got some days to iron out the details on Hurricane Matthew. It's quiet today all the way through the end of the week. Temperatures Thursday, Friday back up around 70 degrees. Increasing clouds possible on Saturday. If we were to see some rain and wind from Matthew right now, the time I mean, of that appears to be maybe Saturday night to Monday morning with more significant impacts potentially on Sunday. But the timing, the track of this will likely shift some over the next few days, and that's why you got to pay very close attention to the forecast. You can always get it right on your mobile device.